Hey everybody, it is Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2, and today I'm going to do a little video about the ProMag Glock 44 18 round magazine. Now, I don't think this is a video worthy of the full channel because I don't think I could do a full review on it, but I bought one of these, only one. People told me after I got my Glock 44, which by the way, you can now see I have the threaded barrel on there, and I need to buy a thread protector and I also bought the little grip plug for the back. I hated how Glocks had that big hole in the back. I know that kind of sounds dirty, uh, but they have a little plug for it. That's a, That sounds even dirtier. But anyway, they have the little pierce grip uh, frame plug. So I bought that as well, along of course with that modification for the firing pin spacer that I have internally. And I'm going to buy some different sights for this as well. So I'm really going to kind of upgrade this. I know everyone says Glock perfection. You guys know I love Glocks. I actually like Glocks a lot, um, but I rarely modify them. And this is one that I am going to do. So you have Glock perfection that you can perfect in aftermarket. But anyway, one of those things is going to be this ProMag magazine. And I only bought one. These things are only like $18 at Brownells. And uh, one of the reviews I saw, actually I saw, actually I saw a lot of very negative reviews of it. I mean, one-star reviews. Uh, so I was going to buy like four or five of them at that price, but I only bought one just because I wanted to see what it was about. And if I like it, I'll buy more. And a bunch of people on the reviews at Brownells said two things. Number one, the construction of these is poor. And the other one said the spring is not very strong and was causing problems. So I just literally got this in the mail today and I just opened the box, the package. So this is the Pro Mag 18 round Glock 44 magazine here. And I gotta say, it feels, it looks pretty nice. Like it seems like it's constructed well. I don't see really any issues with it. People said poor construction. I don't see it now. Today, I can't go to the range and test it, so I don't know if this is going to have any function problems, but it does seem to work. I don't understand what the issue is. Now, I guess on the Glock bag, people said it had kind of a square spring, but it looks like it's a coil spring too. The spring is just a little bit different, obviously, because the body of the magazine is a little bit different. So here's the, I guess, here's the Glock mag, the 10 rounder. Here's the Pro Mag 18 rounder. So the spring is definitely different in there. And just pushing the spring down, I think is under a lot of pressure. I mean, a lot of pressure. So I don't see what people are talking about. Seems to, I don't know, it seems to be good. Fits in there just fine. Doesn't wobble. Let's see how it compares to the other one. That's the same amount of wobble, so it fits in there just fine. Maybe sticks out just a little bit longer, but you do get 18 rounds. Slide holds open. I don't know. I don't see any issues with this magazine. So I guess the only thing I can really do is just go to the range and find out if this thing works. But so far, I think it's worthy of $18. Um, I don't understand why some people said they got it and it broke and it was like cheap plastic. I mean, it maybe the Glock polymer is a little bit nicer, but this feels solid. It's not bending. I don't see any cracks. It doesn't feel cheap. You know how like sometimes you have like cheap plastic? No, it's textured, made in the USA, 22 long rifle. Everything seems to be okay. I don't know. So anyway... I'm happy with it. I'll probably buy a whole ton of these things if it works. So I just got to get it to the range. Anyway, I just want to make a little video about that and kind of give you guys my initial thoughts and experiences on this thing because a bunch of people said it was junk. And you guys know I am very picky and I'm kind of snobbish when it comes to my guns. I will call out a company or a product if I think it's junk. But as of, as of this thing sitting here on the table right now, it doesn't seem to be junk, and the reviews I saw doesn't seem to, I guess, be indicative of what I have here in my hand. Strong spring and quality polymer. Fits in the gun fine. Locks open, so I won't know until I actually shoot it, but so far, I'm happy with it. So hey, there you go. I don't know if this will help anybody in your mag buying decisions, but there it is. The Pro Mag Glock 44 18 round polymer magazine. All right, so let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Do you guys have any of these mags for your Glock 44? And what do you think? They're super cheap, but 
it might be worth it. It says lifetime warranty, so I guess if I did have a problem, I could call ProMag. Who knows? All right, so let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.